Hi, my name is Paul Mizell, and I make books for kids. Two books I've made are called Nature Diaries, and they're intended to be the thoughts of two animals, a praying mantis and an Easter bluebird. My Awesome Summer by P. Mantis takes you from birth through the end of the summer in the life of a praying mantis. My Happy Year by E. Bluebird is the story of the first year in the life of a bluebird. Both stories take place at my home in Connecticut because that's where I observe these animals. Tell us about your character. I came up with these stories because I watched both of these animals grow. First I brought a praying mantis egg case inside in the fall. I didn't know what it was or what would come out of it in the spring. One day in May, almost 200 praying mantis nymphs came out of the egg case. I brought them outside and put the ba baby praying mantises on a bush and watched them grow bigger all summer. At the end of the summer, some adult praying mantises made new egg cases, and I saw more baby mantises the next spring. I was very happy when a pair of bluebirds made a nest in a birdhouse in my backyard. The female laid eggs and baby bluebirds were born. I took some pictures of them inside the house and watched as the parents fed them. Then they left and came back the next summer too. I've always loved animals. I enjoy reading about them and drawing them. These books gave me the chance to do both things. I did research on both animals, and we even had experts from the Museum of Natural History make sure that all the facts in the books are accurate. My favorite thing about praying mantises is the way that they can swivel their head around the way that people can. They're the only insect that can do that. My favorite thing about bluebirds is their beautiful color and their happy songs. What made you want to become a creator of books? From an early age, I liked to draw. When I was in high school, I knew that I wanted to be an artist. I really didn't know that I wanted to make books for children until around the time when my first son was born. After that, it's all I've wanted to do. I mostly drew pictures for other people's books, but then I started to have some funny ideas especially about dogs, because we used to have a silly dog named Rusty, and now we have a very fu funny dog named Coco. She's a Labradoodle, and she loves to run and dig. Four books that I made, See Me Run, See Me Dig, See Me Play, and I See a Cat, are based loosely on the funny things that Coco does. When I was growing up, we had a collie named Taffy. Having Taffy was one of the reasons that I knew that I loved animals so much. She was a great dog. If you found a whale in your bathtub, what would you do? So this is supposed to be a funny question, I know. But my first response would be, how did the whale get there? And then I would worry about how to get the whale safely back to the ocean. And I might also wonder if maybe climate change had something to do with how that whale got in my bathtub. And I might also wonder if there were always, will always be praying mantises and bluebirds in my backyard, or if climate change will change everything. Because I do believe that it's real and poses a real challenge and danger to the planet. I might wonder all of those things because I found a whale in my bathtub.